Hey there guys, today we're taking a look at Veiled Experts running on the AMD Ryzen 5 6600H. Now this is a brand new game that is about to be releasing soon, but it is currently in open beta and I decided to give it a go and I actually found it to be pretty fun to play. So I decided to actually test it out on the B-Link SCR6 mini PC to see how it would perform on RDNA 2. And to my surprise, at the lowest in-game graphics settings, you are actually able to get some pretty decent levels of performance here though, there are certain downsides. For one, the 1% lows do actually dip below 60, which isn't ideal in a competitive shooter situation, but it is at least a very playable experience. If you look at the frame times, for the most part, they are very consistent. You'll see the occasional little spike here and there, but it's nothing to completely deter the experience. It's just not 100% perfect. Now, if you pay attention to the frame usage here, you can tell that we are using a pretty decent amount of it. So if you're on a system that only has eight gigabytes of RAM for whatever reason, you really need to consider upgrading 16 gigabytes is really the minimum nowadays and if you can bump that up to 32 it is not a bad option texture usage in video games is really starting to skyrocket and for igpus the vram is dynamic it just is based off of how much ram you have so the more ram you have the more potential vram you have so if you're on a system that you could even put 64 gigabytes into you could pretty much have vram that rivals even something like a 4090 now, obviously, you're not going to get anywhere near the performance of a 4090, but in terms of being able to have high quality textures, you're going to be able to do that if you have enough RAM. And that's pretty nice because of the fact that a lot of the times in most games, just turning up the textures already makes a huge difference in terms of visual quality. Now, what you're seeing right now, I have the textures set to their absolute lowest, and I can obviously turn them up if I wanted to. But already, just with 16 gigabytes of RAM, we're using the full allocated 4 gigabytes to the IGP. You. So again, if you're on a system like this, I would really consider bumping up the RAM up to 32 gigabytes just so you have that headroom. Now certainly turning up the textures isn't really going to affect the performance unless you're using up all of your RAM. So it's not really something you got to worry about. But in general, the performance that you get out of this is really decent for this brand new title, which is really nice to see. It, it's pretty much a third person spin on the CSGO type of formula. It certainly doesn't take itself very seriously. There are some pretty goofy abilities you can have but in general it's actually been pretty fun to play and of course it is in open beta right now so you can download the game right now and play it for yourself it's going to perform really well on a system like this so definitely check it out but anyways i will catch you in the next one